Welcome to the 18th episode of the Nimby Rail series, where we are rebuilding the entirety of the National Rail. We're going down the list in alphabetical order. Today is M for the Mersey Rail, so let's get into it. So what we're going to do is we're going to start all the way over at Hunts Cross and do the branch all the way up to Southport. But since we have the first two stations complete, we can go and skip until here and we're going to come underneath this bridge to our first station which will be Cressington. So I'm just going to curve that around like that and now I'm going to come all the way up through Cressington to our next station and quite simply I am not even going to try to pronounce it so we can uh, s skip straight past it and come straight to our next station which will be St Michael's which will be located in right here so I'm just going to connect that so I'm going to come out of the station and we're going to come into a tunnel here and kind of pretty much straight line across through to our next station which will be Brunswick I'm just going to move that over so it's a little bit better on the curve and I'm also going to have a curve underneath all of this and we're also going to come round curving like so just so we can get into our next station of Liverpool Central. Now we can curve off like so and back up. So we're going to put this around about here and this will be our next station of Moorfields. And we're going to come round like so. And here we are going to come out from the tunnel and go all the way up to our next station of Sand Hills. Just link that up and I'm also just going to make this a little bit straighter so trains can run a little bit quicker. Now we're going to come back here and we are going to come up onto a bridge. Come down instantly. We are going to be on the curve towards the left for now but we will be coming back and using the line that goes straight but we will be placing in this station right in here with that curve there and it will be bank hall station and now we're going to come zooming up all the way up to here and this will be bootle oriel road now we're going to come across over onto a bridge and up here to our next station and here what we're going to do is we are going to put in a curved station just like that we can connect that up like so and rename this to bootle new strand and we can continue all the way up to here for our next station of Seaforth and Litherland and then we're just going to come around all the way around here to our next station here and this one will be Waterloo so now from here we can come in a straight line to here where this will be our next station of Dundle Sands and Crosby just gonna move the station over a little bit so it's a little bit straighter and onto our next station of Hall Road which will be right in this gap here and we'll just need to move that very quickly and get back onto this well we're going to come all the way over to here for our next station of high town and then we're gonna pretty much just skip all the way over to the next town over which will be formby and we're going to come out of Thornby Station and up here will be Freshfield Station. And now from here we are going to pretty much follow this curve all the way around. All the way over to here for Ainsdale Station. And then from here we are going to come through to our next station of Hillside. Just very quickly connect that and just fix that a little bit. Now I'm going to come through to our second to last station on this line. This will be Burkdale. I'm going to come round. Yeah. 
all the way through here and in right here will be Southport Station. So that will be the first branch fully complete. Next one starts at Liverpool Central, comes through Moorfield Sand Hills. And after here, we are going to stop over here at Kirkdale Station. So just curving into there. And then from here, we're just going to tunnel underneath all of that mess. And then we're also going to be curving off and coming to this station here of Walton. Although getting the angle would probably be right. And then the next station will literally just be right here. That'll be Overall Park. So we'll just connect them two. Now from here we're just going to come along up here up to Aintree Station. Obviously for the entry race course just right next to us. I'm going to come out quickly bridge across that river and come over to here for Old Rhone Station. So we're just going to go across like that. So I'm just going to put this through like so but I will need to tunnel underneath that first. I've also just noticed we have a road or water here so that will be just this but doing that will fix it. I am also just going to put in our next station of Mackle. I will also put in a bridge just over here so we can actually connect those two up and we can go straight out and up by Mosey Park here will be Magal North so just connecting the two stations like so we can continue on all the way over to the next station of Town Green so I'm just going to move that slightly over and rename it from co-op to town green and off to the next station which will be right in here and connect that up and then on to the final stop on this line and at Omskirk station that will be all the way up in this spot right here and now we just have to link these up like so and now we can go on to our next station so we're going to need to come back down here and curve off here to this station, which will be Rice Lane. So now we are just going to follow this line for the moment. Where the next station will be right in here. So we're just going to send this up a little bit. And now we're going to come all the way up to Kirkby Station here. Kirkby Station used to be the terminus for this branch until our following station, which is right here, Headbolt Lane, was completed and opened in October 2023. So now with those three lines done, we can come all the way down to Liverpool Lime Street. So I'm going to start this platform here and end it over there and what we're going to do is we're going to bend this all the way around like so and into Liverpool Central and now we're going to come to our next station which will be right here and this will be James Street so we're just going to very quickly connect this up with that there what I'm going to do fairly quickly is I'm just going to move more fields a little bit over and what we're going to do is we are going to have a curve all the way up to Liverpool and Lamb Street like that. So I'm going to put that there and we're going to come all the way across the river like so. And our first station will be in here being Hamilton Square. So we'll come up with something like that. And from here we are going to put this around like that. Because in this spot here will be our next Mersey Rail stop. So I'm just going to move this down like so this will be Conway Path. I'm going to come pretty much across this line here where we're going to put in a, another stop just here being Birkenhead Park. And then how am I going to take out the tunnel? And I'm going to come all the way along here. 
and this section here will be fucking head north where it's gonna come round like so and then come along but we're going to firstly curve off onto this branch here and all the way down to gap to here for our first station for Wallasey Village and then from here to here and that will be Wallasey Grove Road and now we're going to come around this bend and all the way into New Brighton and that is another branch done so we're going to come back down here so here we're going to shove Bidston Station So we're going to continue this on. I'm also just going to put that there in case we need it, but I don't believe I do. And here will be our next station. And then we're just going to come all the way over here to Morton Station. And then we're gonna have a long way to go to our next station here. And our next station will be Manor Road and Hoy Lake. And I'm just going to very quickly link up both these two stations. Well, actually, it's going to be these three stations. And then we can come zooming all the way down here to our final station. To West Kirby. And now we can come like that. So now we're going to come all the way back over to Birkenhead and we're just going to curve out of Hamilton Square. I'm going to put this station underground for now. I'm going to put that over there. I'm also going to shorten the platform all the way to here. And we're going to come all the way through like so. And then here we're going to come all the way underneath here. But our next station will be right over here, and this will be Green Lane. I'm just curving in that. And come all the way along. So we can come all the way along to our next station here. So we're going to move that up. And all of these. And this will be Rock Ferry. And then we're going to continue along. And we're going to put in our next station right here, and this will be Bebbington. And on the other side of the park, we are going to be putting in poor sunlight. So now I'm just very quickly going to add them to up. And now we're going to continue along to over here. Connect up that, and now we can continue along. So we're going to come all the way over to here. And in here, we will be putting in our next station, a Brombra Rake. And then we're going to come all the way through down to here, which this will be Brombra Station. So now we are going to continue along all the way down to here for our next station. This will be Eastern Rake. And now we're just going to come skewing through to the next station of Hooton. So now we're going to come up. We are going to be using this line shortly, but we are currently curving off because we're currently doing the Ellesmere Port branch. So we're going to curve off and around to our next station of Little Sutton, which will be all the way back over here. Just like so and then we have two more stations to go of first the overpool and then Ellesmere port will be in just here and with that branch done we can finally come down to our final branch for the Mersey Rail. So we're going to come pretty much zooming all the way down here. 
because we're going to come all the way down to Capenhurst, which is right here. And then our next station will be just coming into Chester. So we're just going to continue to come flying through and the station will be in right here. And now we can come all the way down using this platform over at Chester, but I am going to use this section and in through like that. So we can actually use both platforms at Chester and we can also come into that and also go through. So at the minute the Mersey Rail is costing 429.9 million. So we're going to build all blueprints and we are going to create a new line just like so. So we're going to start off with the Hunts cross to Southport line. We can come all the way down and basically come through the line like this and all the way up like so. I'm going to come into the southern platform at Southport and come all the way back down the line as per usual. Reconnecting up with the main line here. So we're going to shove on a couple class 777s. So we're going to shove a train every 15 minutes on here. So six trains will take us to every 15 minutes 33. Now we're going to do the central to Ormskirk. Ormskirk branch. We're going to start off at Liverpool Central. And then come all the way up. So, also bouncing back down. And on this one, we also want a train every 15 minutes. So three trains will take it to a train every 16 minutes. So now we're going to do the Liverpool Central to Headbolt Lane and coming down here and coming straight back down the line through Moorfields and into Liverpool Central and we need uh, two trains per hour so every half an hour and with one train we have that exactly so we're going to start off on our platform over here we're going to come over to Liverpool Central we're going to come all the way through like so we're going to come off here up to New Brighton Bounce back the line and come back into the central section here. I'm going to come up to more fields and into Liverpool Arm Street like that, like a loop. So we're going to jump some 777s on this as well. We need two trains to make it every or close enough to every 15 minutes as possible. I'm just going to very quickly clone the line. Maybe this service is going to go to West Kirby. We're going to curve it off here first and come all the way down and then work our way straight back and then remove the two Wolsey village stations so at least it runs smoothly like this. So two trains will be 24 minutes and with three trains it will be every 16. I'm going to clone this once again because we're going to go all the way down to Ellesmere. I'm going to come down here all the way down to Hamilton Square and just remove every station between there and Hamilton Square going the opposite direction. And we're just going to enter in every single stop along here. Coming to Ellesmere Port and coming back on ourselves. And up like that. The station also didn't change, so I'm going to rename that very quickly. 
This line will be every half hour, so two trains will make every 28 minutes, which will be close enough. So we're going to lastly change the line, and we're going to come all the way down to this little Sutton and remove everything between there and the other Hooten. And then add in our final couple more stops. And then we're going to make this every 15 minutes as well. 15 minutes and 45 seconds will do. So that is every single line of the Mersey Rail completed and on the map. So now we're going to fast forward a full 24 hours to see how much money the Mersey Rail makes in a single day. We are now with the next day, so we are now ready to check how much money the Mersey Rail has made. So now with our trusty calculator app, we can figure out how much money the Mersey Rail has made. So starting off with the Liverpool Central to Headball makes 400 thousand Ormskirk makes 800 thousand Hunts Cross makes 1.8 million the Chester branch makes 1.3 million I honestly thought I would make the most Elsmere makes 500 thousand the new Brighton makes 300 thousand and the West Kirby makes 521 thousand meaning the Mosey Rail makes a total of 5,971,791 in its first day of service so that is it for the Mosey Rail. I'm glad to know that the Mosey Rail has made the most amount of revenue in its first 24 hours. All the past episodes up until the Greater Anglia has failed to make over 5 million, with the Greater Anglia making 17 million. So Mersey Rail is the first to actually hit 5 million, with the LNWR making just less than that. We'll be back in the same area with the Northern for the 19th episode of our National Rail series. I will see you all then and also when I next upload on the channel. Goodbye.